Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, underground revenge. In 2 Samuel chapter 17, you find a very interesting story. That is the story of Absalom's revolt. Absalom rebelled against his father, took up arms against his own father, and decided to remove his father by force and take him out of the throne. That was Absalom for you. And um, the Bible said, now Absalom, after he had rebelled and he was going to take David and he was going to kill David and all those other things, he had two primary advices. And I'm not even looking at the other advisor. But I'm looking at one particular advisor. His name was Ahithopel. And Ahithopel was a powerful counselor. And uh, it was such a powerful counselor that David said, David specifically prayed that Lord overturned the counsel of Ahithopel. I fear his advice because Ahithopel was known for wisdom. And whatever Ahithopel advises, it is, je it is on the je. It is on, right on, the, on, the, on, on, the, on, the, on point. It's right on the ball. He hits the, mark. He hits the bullseye. He hits the mark. Pinpoint accuracy. That was Ahithopel. And David acknowledged it. And David even prayed that God, Ahithopel has joined this, this rebellion. It, 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 it won't be good. I mean, it's not going to be any agbe in Akba. I mean, that was what Ahithophel was, uh, was, how threatening his counsel was. And David even had to make it a prayer topic for God to overturn the counsel of Ahithophel. So Ahithophel was gifted. Ahithophel was talented. Ahithophel was graced. That his counsel, God, his counsel was like an oracle. When he speaks, when he advises, it's right on point. That was Ahithophel. And the Bible said David even had to pray to avert or overthrow the council of Ahithophel. Now something happened that was very interesting for me. There was a, an advice Ahithophel gave, and that advice he gave was, mm, it was a very, very interesting. He said to Absalom, for the people of Israel to know that this is not a hoax, and that is you are really, really, really against your father because this may look like your father's games to find out who is loyal and who is disloyal. So in order to show to, your, to, your, to people that you are real, that you've rebelled, it, you've cut all ties with your father, take your father's ten concubines that he left behind and sleep with them on the rooftop in the eyes of all Israel to see. And I'm looking at it and I'm saying, wow. And Absalom did that. And truthfully, the whole of Israel said, this is good. Now we are sure of Absalom's rebellion against his father. Ahithophel's counsel was a powerful counsel. But I'm wondering, why did he say it? That David, uh, Absalom's David's son, should sleep with his father's wives on a rooftop. Then I discovered Ahithophel's granddaughter, or grand, one of his grand, either niece or daughter, was Bathsheba. Was the woman that David was on the rooftop, and then David, uh, she was bathing, and David went to look, and he didn't, he just didn't take one look, he took one, more than one look, and then he went on further and had an affair with her, got her pregnant, and then killed her husband, Ahithophel was on the pathway of revenge. He did it to my granddaughter, or my grandniece, on the rooftop. I would do it to him, to his wife too, on the rooftop. And Ahithophel, fueled by revenge, fueled by, by bitterness, fueled by this thing, he gave an advice to hurt David. So everything Ahithophel was doing was not based on, on a, a spirit-filled counsel, was not based on any other thing than hatred and revenge. And the Bible said the second one he gave was even more dangerous. He said to Absalom, you give me people. David is still around the river. There's a, I will go quickly in the night, overtake him, and, and remove them from the face of the earth. Revoke his visa to exist here on this earth permanently with extreme prejudice. You don't need to have a big fight. Absalom was given this advice by Ahithophel. 
And this advice was a very dangerous one. And the premise and the reason for this advice was sweet revenge. Ahithophel was on the pathway of revenge. You know one thing? You would pursue revenge to your own detriment. In the end, when that advice was rejected, he went and hanged himself. Revenge is going to destroy you in the end. The pursuit of revenge, the pursuit of paying back. When God says, vengeance is mine, I will repay. Leave it into his hands. And God is going to pay them back. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over. What they will see is more than what your puny hands can give, can dish out. So God said, vengeance is mine, I will repay. And that was God. So God doesn't need your hands in order to fulfill his path of vengeance, his plan of vengeance. Get out of it. For if you pursue the pathway of, of, of revenge, in the end, you hurt yourself. In the end, you damage yourself. Now, Ahithophel did this and pursued revenge to its fatal conclusion, his life. You don't want to do that. Underground revenge never works. So the reason why you're advising against the person, the reason why you're doing all those things is revenge. Our nations are filled with, with uh, vengeance. Blood crying out for blood. Somebody did this to my father. Somebody did this. And, uh, and so because of that, we, some, some people even pursue political appointments, not for anything, but to be in a position of prominence and a position of power to make out this revenge to those who've fallen upon them. I've seen it. It does not work. In the end, you hurt yourself and you hurt your children and you hurt generations after you. Leave it alone. Leave it into the hands of God. He said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. Here's a fact. The choice is always yours. So, see you later. <laughs>